who's who in the world, who's who in the Washington metro area, who's who on the sets of the Capitol View right here on Fox 5 Plus. Let's find out from the host himself, Mr. Sonny Siegel. Welcome to the Who's Who Show. This is your host, Sonny Siegel. Today our guest is Dr. Stuart Edelstein. Dr. Edelstein is the executive director of the universities at Shady Grove here in Rockville, Maryland, in the capital region. And he's the associate vice chancellor for academic affairs for the university system of Maryland. Prior to being appointed to lead the universities at Shady Grove, Dr. Edelstein was senior associate dean of the College of Behavioral and Social Sciences at the University of Maryland in College Park. Dr. Edelstein holds a master's degree and a PhD from the University of California at Berkeley. Dr. Edelstein, welcome to the show. Glad to be here, thank you. It's such a pleasure, finally, to have you on the show. Same here, thank your, you. Your schedule has been very, very... It's a busy time uh, of year. Yes, very, very busy. Dr. Edelstein, I noted that the university that's at Shady Grove um, seemed to be a unique concept in that there are nine universities on one campus um, in Montgomery County, Maryland. Now, I find that to be quite unique, having been to various universities in the country. Can you please share with our viewers how this idea was born, how it was conceived, and what benefits it brings to the community? Absolutely, thank you for asking the question. So we are a regional center as part of the University System of Maryland. It's a public university system, and the idea for the University of Shady Grove actually started in the 1990s. There's no public um, four-year university in Montgomery County offering baccalaureate and graduate degrees. So the business community actually worked with the political community and with the education community and the university system to create this very unique uh, facility and very unique institution by bringing different degrees from each of our university partners, the nine universities, that meet the workforce and economic development needs uh, of the region. So s people in the region can get these degrees from a, a college park or UMBC or University of Maryland School of Nursing in Montgomery County without actually leaving the county. Wow, that's remarkable. It's, yeah. it's a great institution, great students, great faculty, great partnership uh, with our university partners. And it's so centrally located. Right in the middle I'm of Montgomery very County. very impressed. You right know, in the middle to, of Montgomery County. To put it County. in very prime, very accessible. Right off of 270. Uh, yes. And right in the, in the science hub of the county. Yes. And what's, I know you touched briefly on the types of programs that are offered. Can you, can you please elaborate a little bit? Sure. We have 80 different degree programs offered by our university partners. Uh, they range hospitality, business. We have a lot of health programs in nursing and social work in pharmacy. Um, again, they, they, they're designed to meet the workforce needs of the region. We're just about ready to open up a biomedical sciences and engineering education facility. Extremely excited about that. That's going to bring engineering, computer science, agriculture, all of the degrees that are going to be needed to support the future workforce and the science community um, in, the, in the region. Mm -hmm. Given that it's uh, so accessible, I, I wonder if there is a, uh, a uh, parallel uh, program to the, to the um, classroom-led um, programs that is remote learning. Is there a remote learning element to it? Well, we do, we or do have... Or necessary? Yeah, sure. Uh, most of the courses that we have are on site, um, but there is an increasing number of courses that are uh, delivered electronically via distance, um, synchronously and asynchronously from our university partners, campuses, from our campus to their campus. So there's a lot of sharing because Montgomery County has a, such a rich community and science community. People are teaching at Shady Grove and beaming to the campuses and faculty from the campuses are beaming to USG. But most of the courses are taught on site. I see, I see. Now is there a larger, you mentioned workforce development as an example, um, is there a larger ecosystem within which the universities uh, at Shady Grove operate? Absolutely. So we are working not just, uh, our, our programs at the baccalaureate level are two plus two programs. So students start in the community college and then they 
um, move into the four-year programs that are offered by our university partners at USG. So we work with Montgomery College. About 75% of the undergraduate students are coming to us from Montgomery College. But we work with Frederick Community College, and Arundel Community College, Howard Community College, even Northern Virginia Community College. Yes. Our interest is in getting students who are in Montgomery County, so we work with the school system so those students can know that they have a local option. They move from a school system to Montgomery College to the programs at USG, and then we work with the employer community because we're very, very sensitive to what the employer community is telling us they need, and we bring those degrees and that education, and we partner with them because most of the students who come to USG are doing internships or clinical training actually in Montgomery County in the businesses that they're going to be working in. Oh, I see. So there, there is a placement program or an internship program? A very large internship program and opportunities for students to get an understanding of what the workforce and what the careers, what the jobs are in the county, in the greater region that they are going to be doing their academic work in. And we want them to get that work experience. We want them to understand what is required of them. And, they, and the businesses want us to be able to train those students uh, well so they participate in that. I see. What sort of capacity, you mentioned there are 80 degree programs. What sort of capacity, um, what's the size of the student body at any given time? We, we're a little bit over 3,000 students at this point, and with this new building that we're going to be opening in the fall, the Biomedical Science and Engineering Education Facility, we will be able to double our size. So we'll be over 7,000 students. It'll take us a while to get there, but we will be a very, we will be a very large campus of the public university system in Maryland. I see. Are you able to share some examples of how the region has benefited? Yeah, uh, well, you know, I mentioned we have a very large nursing program. About 320 students are pursuing nursing degrees um, at Shady Grove from the University of Maryland School of Nursing. We, we've supplied a lot of the nursing uh, staff for Adventist Hospital, Holy Cross. M many of the hospital systems are working with us in nursing, social work, similarly, education. We have several education programs at the undergraduate and at the graduate level. Um, Montgomery County Public Schools soaks these students up. Mm -hmm. uh, they're fabulous students, they're diverse, uh, they're well educated, and of course they've been working in Montgomery County Public Schools as, as student teachers. I think the other would be the, the hospitality industry. We have a, a program in hospitality and tourism management from University of Maryland Eastern Shore. Um, we work with all of the different hotels and hospitality organizations in the region, and they benefit from the students who are getting baccalaureate degrees. This is just a couple, and business is a very large program. Accounting, uh, accounting firms have benefited. I think there's a tremendous connection between what we're doing um, and the needs of the business community. And when we open that new building, there's going to be even more interest in the students that are coming out of the programs that are offered at USG. Yeah. Now, Montgomery County, Maryland, um, is uh, quite a hub of biotech um, right. firms. Majority of biotech companies in the state are actually reside in, in Montgomery County. Of course, you have also the federal labs that are there, FDA and NIH, and they draw um, a lot of the companies as well into the county. Mm -hmm. Yes, that is, that's very, very impressive. And I know you mentioned the nursing program, and I'm aware uh, that the uh, campus is actually mm, surrounded by a very uh, well-known hospital systems, not just hospitals, but entire systems. Shady Grove in Venice has a hospital right across the street, and they're very connected to us, uh, that we have a very good partnership with them, and many of the students who are actually graduate are working at, at, at Venice Hospital. Mm -hmm. And then the Holy Cross and so many others. Yes. The Suburban Holy Cross. Um, yes, all of the hospitals in the region are benefiting from the students who are graduating. And nursing is, a, is one of those professions where there's not enough nurses coming out of the uh, schools in Maryland, and, and they're being soaked up by the healthcare industry. Yeah, so this is a wonderful offering. I, I am now reminded uh, that, of course, um, Amazon um, considered Montgomery County. They did indeed. Uh, the only county in the nation. They did indeed. Uh, as a possible site for its uh, HQ2 uh, business. Um, and so uh, did uh, the universities at Shady Grove uh, play a large part in um, uh, placing so high 
uh, in Montgomery County, placing so high on the list of possible sites for Amazon HQ2. Well, can, we can, you, can you share that? Yeah, we participated in the site visits that uh, Amazon had with the various locations, and we were part of a team that uh, Montgomery College, Montgomery County Public Schools, the University College Park, and UMBC, uh, Hopkins, were all part of a conversation with Amazon about what the education system offered to Amazon. Amazon was interested in the workforce in, in Montgomery County, very talented, very educated, and very diverse. Mm -hmm. And I think that's something that Amazon was very, very interested in. And, and I think we made a very good case, and, and I think we will benefit from the fact that Amazon is in the region, and we will be producing uh, graduates who will eventually work in Amazon. I think the other issue is that Amazon is going to create a much larger ecosystem uh, for technology in the region and we want to make sure that what we're doing at USG is also supporting Maryland companies mm -hmm. that are going to benefit from what Amazon brings into the region. Yes, the larger ecosystem. You want to feed all of the ecosystem, yeah, not we, just in the core which would be Amazon. Of course, that Amazon would be a new came. world here. They came because the region is a technology region. Mm -hmm. Maryland is a part of that region. Montgomery County drives uh, that economy with its technology companies and with its, its technology infrastructure. Right. Machine learning um, and artificial intelligence, I think, were high on uh, Amazon's list of workforce, uh, desirable workforce. Um, scales. Yes, and in this new facility that I mentioned, we're going to be developed. We, we have programs coming from University of Maryland College Park in automation um, and in, in bioengineering. We have programs from UMBC coming in uh, cybersecurity, computer science, data science. These are all of the programs and the skill sets that Amazon is looking for, but actually it's, it's, it's many companies that are moving in the technology area in, in these fields that require these skill sets. Mm -hmm. and, and then you mentioned that the biotech building is now coming up or uh, part of that campus is being developed. What other uh, examples, uh, very briefly, you could share with our viewers. We have two programs that I'm very, very excited about. One is entrepreneurship. So we're going to be offering entrepreneurship coaching, on entrepreneurship curriculum, so that students in at the university can get an opportunity to start their own businesses. We have students who are already starting their own businesses, and many who come to USG want to eventually have their own businesses. So we will be developing in that building an entrepreneurship program. The other is agriculture. So you know, Montgomery County has a very large ag reserve and we want to support the, the promotion of that um, agriculture industry so agriculture is coming with new technologies that will support the uh, the industry and we're we're working with the school of agriculture to develop a fermentation science program which is wine making wow. beer making uh, vegetables a cheese, bread, fermentation is a industry in Maryland that we want to promote. So this is all the work that we will be doing over the next several years. Wow, this is wonderful, wonderful. Thank you for being on the show today and for sharing with our viewers all the goodness that the University of Shady Grove brings. Well, we, we've been blessed. Montgomery County is a great location. Uh, Maryland is doing tremendous things, and I really appreciate the opportunity to talk about what we're doing. Thank you. Thank again. you. This is your host, Sonny Siegel, signing off on the Who's Who show on the Capitol View. I hope to see you next month at the same place and the same time.